Hey, Saggies! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. Keep in mind, it's just a timestamp, essentially. Whenever you're drawn to see a reading, you're compelled to watch a reading, and there's usually going to be messages in there for you if you're really guided to see one. Keep in mind, time is also not linear. This could be something pertaining to the future for you. So if you come across the six months from now and it resonates, hey, that's when you're supposed to watch it, okay? Saggies, man, your energy. It's a little somber. I got to be honest. It's a little somber, but you're doing some some inner work, which I like. I like that. Some of you, it, this is going to be a bit of a harsh realization. Others, it's going to be like, oh, well, I thought I took care of that. I guess I didn't. Okay? It's it's definitely that kind of energy. So keep in mind, guys, for those who are new to my channel. Sorry, I just dived right in because it's like your energy is like beckoning me right now. So to back up, for my newbies, I always go to my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone you're energetically attached to or someone within your environment. Keep in mind, it is energy, can be vice versa, okay? Then we'll go ahead and get into the reading. Saggies, like I said, somber energy here. Um, I actually heard kryptonite, which was like, that was very interesting. And then I saw you being out about nature. Like I actually saw like, it was it was actually very interesting. I, I don't normally have visions like this, but or see things in this way. But it was almost like I was seeing what someone else was seeing, like through their eyes. Like they were walking, they were looking down, and they were like on a hiking trail. So Sagis, you guys could be hikers. Some of you could be hiking. Um, and the area I saw, it was very rocky. There wasn't very much vegetation at all. So any kind of area like that, you know, for whoever it was, I was picking. That was like one specific specific person I was picking up on. But I do feel like it's a collective energy of kind of going out and trying to figure your shit out, right? Like going out, finding a place to sit down, to meditate, to be like, why am I struggling with this? I thought I dealt with that weakness. I thought I dealt with that issue. I thought I dealt with that addiction. Like, you know, things about yourself that you thought you might have worked through, you might be realizing this time, like, God damn it, I thought I did that. I thought I did the work. There's more work to be done. There's always work to be done, by the way. <laughs> There's always healing to be done, always. Oh, okay, there we go. Sagis, I feel like for some of you, this kryptonite light bulb moment, I feel like some of you were finding yourselves in situations that you hadn't been in in a long time. And then all of a sudden you're realizing you're kind of giving into some old ways of being. And it's like, oh, I know I'm weak for that, but how did I fall for that? Why did I do that again? You know, for some of you, it's that kind of energy. Others, it's just, I feel, I actually feel like it's this full moon Pisces energy making you realize that you're still weak for some things. And there's nothing wrong with being weak. I say weak because that's the energy I'm getting where it's like you're feeling like you're a little too weak for a certain thing or a certain person or certain situations. And it just really works to your detriment. It really does feel like whatever this kryptonite is for you that you're becoming more aware of that you have to deal with, which means you're going within to do the healing to get rid of that kryptonite. <laughs> to get rid of the kryptonite you're weak for um, or you've or you've recently been in situations that brought up old stuff or were similar to old situations and you might have you might have fell off the wagon you know maybe you cut out carbs and you ate a carb there's your car there's your kryptonite you know it could be something as mundane as that or something of being an addict and then you kind of go and have a have a bender or bender binge you, you know what i'm saying either way you realize there's this kryptonite within you you, you have a kryptonite and you want to deal with it you want to put it to bed for good. Like, I actually feel like you guys are really taking the time, um, especially during Full Moon and Pisces, to really sit down with yourself, go deep with it, and be like, you know what? I got to get rid of this shit, like, once and for all. Once and for all, no excuses. Cold turkey shit, okay? Some of you are definitely in that space. Why do I say the Full Moon and Pisces is probably affecting you? Because you're, um, you're a mutable sign just like Pisces. And we have the Full Moon and Pisces, which is in conjunction with Nupiter, Nupiter? Nupiter, what the hell is Nupiter? Neptune retrograding, <laughs> Neptune retrograding in Pisces. That's funny because Jupiter is your sign. So that's funny. I said Nupiter, Nupiter, which Jupiter is in Sag. It's just direct. But anyway, uh, that Piscean energy is going to be compounding upon itself to bring revelations to the forefront about a lot of things because they both basically have the same effect, but they're working together to make that effect even stronger for people, okay? Especially other mutable signs, which Saggy, sorry, you do fall under that umbrella and you are the intuitive fire sign. So it's just gonna be even more intense for you. But I honestly, like they just show me someone like sitting on top of a mountaintop. Like you're going to be working through this one way or another. Now, I don't normally do, um, oh, I forgot to mention, I did see a couple animals, which I like, I didn't really like the image, which is probably why I didn't wanna say it. But I saw a mongoose and a snake fighting. I know 
It wasn't pretty. I didn't really appreciate that. I feel like that's just you combating your kryptonite, whatever it is, whatever you're weak for. And it, again, I'm not saying you're weak. It's energy that I'm picking up from you guys where you feel like you're weak for something and you're just not going to tolerate that. You know, and that's one of the things I love about Saggies, like, or Saggy energy. You're not afraid to be blunt, even if it's with yourself. You know, so you might speak harshly sometimes or use harsh words, but you don't mean it like that. Like, you know, you're not weak. You're just saying it that way because it's just very blunt, right? You're just being very honest with yourself, which is beautiful, Sag. So I don't do pre-shuffle sessions anymore, but when I prepped the deck, some cards came out and it was like, oh, oh no, we need to go over these. So first card that came out was the devil. And I was like, oh Lord, <laughs> Capricorn energy. You could be a cusper here, but this is your kryptonite. That's representing your kryptonite, whatever it is, whether it's substance, a person, a certain situation, a certain habit, a certain food, wh whatever, whatever your kryptonite is, it's represented by the devil. But then we have the chariot, Cancerian energy. What did I say, Sag? Like you're putting this to bed once and for all. You're not afraid to move past this. You're going to put the devil to bed. You're going to make sure of it. Then we have the Knight of Wands in a verse, which is your energy, Sag. Could also be Aries or Leo with the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. You're going to get back to a place where you feel like this kryptonite cannot even touch you. Where you could be around this kryptonite, talk to this kryptonite, be in the kryptonite, <laughs> and you're going to be just fine, okay? Knight of Wands, though, it is a bit of a panicky energy, which I get, Sag. It's like, I think for some of you this moment, a lot of you haven't had this moment yet, but for some of you this moment is a little unnerving. Because it's like, it's something that you thought you dealt with. And you're like, what the fuck? Right? It kind of makes you question some things. So just make sure you don't get panicky with it. But you're going to do what you got to do. Okay? All right, Sag. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. Keep in mind, these are very general readings. They are not going to be for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So if it's not your message this week, just ain't your week. And that's okay. Check out any other reader we have on YouTube. There's a lot of great readers on this platform, okay? Also, guys, as I said before, with energy, it can be vice versa. So just keep that in mind. If it's resonating, but the rules are reversed, just switch them. It still resonates. It's still for you. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay, Sag, let's do this. Any messages for Sag regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Yeah, it's like we have stuff going on in Pisces, in Virgo. What's the other one? Pisces, Virgo. Oh, Gemini. Yeah, we don't have anything going on in Gemini. Um, but yeah, your, your other two uh cousin signs <laughs> mutable signs yeah we got a lot of stuff going on there you're gonna be affected for sure any messages for sagittarius regarding love september 12th to the 21st come on okay any messages for sagittarius why am i seeing a dog <laughs> definitely about loyalty something about loyalty Sag, for some of you, your kryptonite is choosing people who are not loyal to you or being too loyal to people and then they don't give it back. You know, and Sag, you tend to take care of people sometimes. Some of you could be realizing that, like, damn it, I thought I dealt with that and I found myself back in the same goddamn situation. Also being loyal to yourself, Sag. Being loyal to yourself is very, is very important. We're falling down this rabbit hole. Okay, we don't have any cards out yet. Sag, being loyal to yourself. <sighs> This is, this is teetering on self-love for some of you. Sorry, my left ear is making me nuts. Ah, Some of you, this is teetering on self-love. Oh, Sag, being in love with love. Don't make me cry, Sag. It's too goddamn early for that. <laughs> some of you are realizing that you might love love too much to your detriment. Some of you are crying because of that. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to trigger you guys. Like, now I'm like, oh God, don't make me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. <laughs> Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Oh God, Sag. When is someone going to love me the way I love me? Oh, Sag. <sighs> Any messages for Sagittarius? Yeah, some of you feel recently tricked. Some of you feel recently tricked. Any messages for Sagittarius? Can we get any cards, please? Any messages for Sagittarius? Because I want to get out of this. It's going to make me cry like any second. Any messages for Sagittarius? Oh, thank you. Thank you. We have a King of Pentacles in reverse. 
Taurian energy. Oh, Sag, who are you dealing with? This kid is earth energy. Could also be air. This is someone focused on themselves and their own coins and their own stability. I feel like this is someone you're dealing with, Sag. This is someone who's making you realize your kryptonite or that waking up to realizing that you still have your kryptonite issue, okay? This is someone who's self-focused, really focused on money, overly focused on money and like the three-dimensional shit, like pleasures, pleasures. This person disappointed you, I can feel it. Nine of wands, oh yeah, Sag energy. Why am I seeing, I'm seeing the mongoose and the snake again. Which, by the way, I would, mongoose would win, just saying. <laughs> Sag, I feel like you're the mongoose in that situation. Uh, you're putting up a big guard to someone who really disappointed you. Really hurt you in the heart space, too. Really hurt you in the heart space. Damn it, they're showing me, they're, show, they're, showing, they're showing me you, like, going up on that mountaintop again, trying to gain clarity on this trying to understand your own wounding and why like you're weak for the I really feel like it's about being weak for a person and like guys that's not a judgment that is not a judgment whatsoever it could be it could be a thing it could be you know a vice or whatever that this person really kind of enables you to do it could definitely be that um but you're just like god damn it why do I have to be weak for that or for that person you're really not happy with it and in turn, it's almost like you're not happy with yourself. But be patient with yourself, Sag. Be kind to yourself with this. Any messages for Sagittarius? Oh, five of Wands. Leo energy, the fighting. I feel like this is you battling yourself, honestly. It, it's also battling this person, without a doubt. I mean, in turn, it's battling this person or what this person enables you to do. It's you trying to fight off that kryptonite energy, trying to like, no, you know what? I am stronger than that thing or that person or those situations. I am stronger than that. I, I have stronger will than that. And I will beat that one way or another. Mm. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius? Oh, yay. I love seeing judgment out here. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Very nice, Sag. We end with judgment. Again, fire energy could also be scorpionic energy for me as a reader. I love that we're ending on this because basically it means things are going to be put right. You're either going to make the right decisions to make sure that you really deal with whatever wounding le leads you to... I don't know what that was. You guys heard that too, right? Anyway, I'm going to ignore that. I don't know why that noise really freaked me out because it sounded like a bug. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Not to get like, taken out of the reading or anything. Uh, I love that we're ending with this because it basically means that you're going to do the right thing for yourself. Okay. In dealing with your kryptonite, whatever your kryptonite is or whoever your kryptonite is. Um, and really doing the healing that you have to do. Also, if you're like co combatively dealing with someone, some of you are. Some of you are combatively dealing with this individual here. And combatively, I, I feel like I need to say that again, combatively, like that mongoose snake energy, whatever happens, karma will be served, things will be put as they should. Even according to spirit standards, things will be put as they should. And this is also you seeking enlightenment about yourself as well. I don't know if I said that, but it is also about you seeking enlightenment. Overall energy, we have a page of cups in reverse. Underneath that, we do have a king of wands, which is interesting. Leo energy could also be a uh, fire or air. I feel unapologetic energy with that. Is that who you're dealing with? It's you. Unapologetic. Again, Saj, be patient with yourself. If this is you just combating your own shit within yourself, be very patient with yourself. Because Page of Cups in Reverse, I do feel a little bit um, of just as equal combative energy coming from you. And, and, and again, it's an energy of being unapologetic for your actions. And again, not a bad thing if this person's been taking advantage of you or this person really hurts you. Just be mindful if you're... How do I say this? How do I say this, Saj? If it's worth your effort, okay? If it's worth your effort or your time to even explain shit to this person. If this person really left you feeling that disappointed, that hurt, or just making you question a lot of shit about yourself, like, damn, am I really that weak? No, I'm not that fucking weak. I can beat this. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, 
is it really worth even engaging with this person more than you have to? Is all I'm saying. Is all I'm saying with that, okay? All right, so let's break these energies down a little bit more. Let's look at this Nine of Wands energy. I feel like that's the combative energy between both of you, along with this Five of Wands, but I'm more curious about the Nine of Wands specifically, because I feel like this person is very self-serving, uh, because, because it's almost like that, like self-preservation mode. It's not an excuse. It comes from ego. It comes from ego and it comes from wounding even within themselves. Oh, Sag, I just heard one of you say, why do I attract broken people? Um, you know the answer to that. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the nine of wands. People who attract broken people are not always broken. Sometimes people who attract broken people are broken within themselves and they're just the broken mismatch is the brokenness. We're all a little crazy anyway. Um, but also sometimes people who are very put together, have a lot of positivity, a lot of light, very healing people, attract broken people because broken people need that healing. Okay, so you already know. You already know. Tell me about Nine of Wands. Tell me about Nine of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Nine of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Ooh, death. Scorpionic energy. I hate to say battle till the, till the death, battle till the end, but that's kind of how this feels. That's the kind of energy this person carries. Like, I'm going to win at all costs, and I'm going to make sure you know it. No wonder you're dealing, you know, no wonder you're coming back with such combative energy. But I'm also getting transformative energy with this. I'm getting transformative energy with this. This is interesting. I feel like it's between the two of you. Because Sag, like I said, you're coming to awareness of your own kryptonite and you're cha making changes accordingly for yourself and for what's best for you moving forward. But there's also something about this person with their defense mechanisms, their self-preservation ways that's changing here. Their ways of fight till the death, fight till the end, fight till there's nothing left. Oh God, fight till there's nothing left. That's That part of them is changing. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands for, the, for Sagittarius. Regarding love, September 12th to the whoa, 21st. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, Sag, okay. This is fascinating. Some of you, there's multiple people involved in this. We have six of wands, Leo energy, Jupiter and Leo energy. And what did I say? Fight till the death. This is a very egotistical energy, right? Very egotistical energy. But I do feel change behind this. So these, this has been this person's ways. I'm fighting till the death. I'm fighting till there's nothing left. Very combative, very aggressive, very combative, left you feeling very disappointed, feeling very hurt. But there's something about this person who that's changing, that's definitely changing. But then look who we have here. Oh, yeah. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air. And then we have a Queen of Cups right behind this king. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I gotta be honest, Sedge. I feel like you're protecting someone. This is interesting. You're protecting someone. Oh, for some of you, for some of you, this is your, your inner wounded feminine. Okay. So for some of you, this kryptonite is linked to your wounded feminine side, whether you're a man or a woman, which is why your, your, your masculine side is taking charge in this, that King of Wands energy, your masculine side is taking charge in this situation. Okay. Um, for others of you, this is so fascinating where there is another person involved here that you're kind of protecting. You're standing right in front of them. It feels very much like a guard. Like, I got your back. I got your back. I got your back. But it's against this King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is more for my Saggy males. I gotta be honest. I feel like this is more for my Saggy males. Uh, where you could have been dealing with someone, male or female, that enabled you, kind of pulled you in, maybe kept you in situations that weren't for your betterment or kept you doing things that were detrimental to you in some way shape or form or unhealthy for you something that it was like it was really hard for you to like not succumb to and yeah okay yeah okay thanks spirit thank you they're sorry when they talk to me i just gotta listen so saggies for those in that situation where you're actually protecting someone 
because it seems like there's a situation between you and a king of pentacles so this could just be a bro of yours because it feels like it's for very masculine saggies could be between two females but it does feel like it's the same gender between two two people of the same gender where sag you're being confronted by this person who enables you who drags you into situations that are not for your betterment that really inhibit your growth all of that shit who's literally left you disappointed because they're so egotistical and they've left you feeling defeated it's almost like an energy of them coming after you and in doing so it's kind of spilling over to a third person and that is oh thank you that's your light bulb moment of oh no oh no oh no we're dealing with this kryptonite right now because you're not going to touch my queen of cups you know that's kind of how it feels that's kind of how this feels yeah, Saji. So take that as it resonates. For some of you, this is you dealing with wounding from your inner feminine, your inner feminine side that leads you to be weak for a person, a habit, a situation. But it really feels like it stems from a person who is very, uh, very defensive, very aggressive, very much like me, 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 fight till the end, fight for what I want. That kind of person is is part of this kryptonite energy for you, whether they enable you to indulge in your kryptonite or they're just kryptonite for you in general and you're gaining perspective on that and like okay i need to heal my inner feminine like hands down others of you mostly for my masculine saggies you're going head to head with someone who enables you to do these things who enables you to be you know unhealthy we'll just say unhealthy um practically serves kryptonite right up to you and for whatever reason there's a blow up happening between you and this person that's spilling over to a queen of cups energy that you feel very protective about and you're going into major protective stance on this major protective stance on this the person who is i'll we'll just say the antagonist this king of pentacles the antagonist energy here is trying to change though i can feel it and i think that's why you're even more on defensive about your queen of cups here because you don't really believe them you don't believe them so i'm more about the nine of wands Tell me more about the nine of wands. Keep in mind, Sag, because for some of you, there is three people involved here. You could be any one of these people. Tell me about the nine of wands for Sagittarius. Tell me about the nine of wands for Sagittarius. I almost feel like it's like two friends or two colleagues or two bros or something or two like brothers or sisters or like, again, same gender fighting over someone. I kind of feel like that too. Then we have the Hermit in Reverse, Virgo Energy, seeking enlightenment about the situation. Like I said, Sagis, for those of you where you're dealing with your inner wounded feminine, you've come into enlightenment understanding on what that wounding is and how to deal with it. Overall energy for the Nine of Wands, we have Temperance in Reverse, Sag Energy, needing to heal. Like I said, Sag, for those dealing with that issue within yourself that leads you to be weak for whatever your kryptonite is or whoever your kryptonite is, you're going to deal with it. Underneath that, look, there's that kryptonite. <laughs> There's that goddamn kryptonite. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Same exact position. Same exact position. Okay. Um, and others of you where you're going into protective stance because drama around your kryptonite that you have, are going head to head with someone on. Again, same sex. It could. Just, I feel like it's just an enabling friend is really how it feels. Like someone who gets you into hijinks and you're like, God damn it, I really don't need to be doing this shit anymore. It's spilling over to your queen. For whatever reason and now you're going to protective mode about it protective mode about it and you're also seeing the situation very clearly and that's making you realize i need to not deal with this person anymore or like this like i just need to get rid of my kryptonite in general and i won't have this issue ever again but i also can't shake the feeling that for some of you it's almost like two people of the same sex fighting over someone of the opposite sex i am getting a little bit of that vibe all right this could all be happening in a social circle let's look at the five of wands <laughs> let's look at the five of wands and then we'll move into judgment why do i feel a lot more fighting going on here so i'm about the five of wands so i'm about the five of wands for sagittarius so i'm about the five of wands for sagittarius okay yeah honestly okay i can't shake that i can't shake that sorry i just gotta say it. i know i already said it once but i gotta elaborate because i'm getting a download about it some of you straight up <sighs> there's going to be a fight over someone romantically speaking but i feel like whatever the case is it's almost like there's already been a new pairing and it's almost like an old person's like what the fuck that's my person and there might be a little bit of a fight there okay that's only gonna be for like a couple of you but I was getting it hard. It's strong. And it's like, oh, I got to say something. <laughs> I got to say something. Tell me about this five of wands energy. Tell me about this five of wands energy for Sagittarius. 
regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. <laughs> Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy. Wow. Yeah, strength in reverse, Leo energy, and then the high priestess. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. I feel like this is you, Sag, for those dealing with your own internal wounded, wounded, wounded feminine, excuse me, letting your masculine take over. I feel like this is you sitting on a rock gaining your enlightenment. <laughs> Like, why am I so weak for this kryptonite? I can't move forward until I figure this shit out because it's really fucking with the things I want for myself. Let me sit down on a rock here and figure this shit out and battle it out with myself. That's definitely the energy I'm feeling for some... Oh, I gotta take these off. Hold on. Sorry. That's definitely the energy I'm feeling for those of you where you're dealing with your own internal issues around your kryptonite. Ah, I don't know why those made me itchy. Okay. Um. Mm. There's also something about control here. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Coming back to this scenario of the three people. So whether, Sag, you're just battling out with someone who likes to enable you to do bad shit, like a sibling, a friend, a coworker, whatever, and it's spilling over to your queen, whoever your queen is, and you're just dealing with it, keep in mind, Sag, you can be any one of these people. It can be vice versa. I feel a lot of possessiveness with this person. A lot of possessiveness. A lot of possessiveness. Um, and there's this energy of like, I can't do this with you anymore. King of Wands, as you're saying, I can't do this with you anymore because you like to have too much control and not, no one's gonna control me for shit. You know, you're being very clear about that and I do feel a secret behind this. I do feel a secret behind this. Let's see what else we've got here. Someone's really money focused. Why is that coming in so strong? Someone's really money focused. So I've, this person might have tried to control you over money. Might have tried to control you with money. Tell me about the five of wands. Tell me about the five of wands for Sagittarius. Tell me about the five of wands. Last card out. Oh, looky here. <laughs> the queen of cups. In reverse, Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Like I said, for those who are just seeking out enlightenment on your own stuff, it's just you realizing how wounded your inner feminine is and that you really just got to work on that. You want to heal with that and that you clearly can't move forward until that happens. And it's almost like a, it's like a self-declaration you're making for yourself. Like, I'm going to sit here until I figure this shit out and I'm not doing anything else until I do. <laughs> very sad. <laughs> very, very sad. Um, and for those where it's like this, combative energy of enabler antagonist very money focused very possessive very very possessive sad and like i said for some they try to control you with money and others it's almost like this for some of you this is a former lover of this queen of cups and it's like you guys are battling this out okay male or female doesn't matter that's only like i said that's only gonna be for a few of you but with this conflict for those in that scenario where there's three people the, this queen of cups is like it's very stressed out by this whole situation is what i'm getting very 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 stressed out here and even this queen of cups is realizing through intuition that like my god like there's no way the situation can move forward with the way that it is and there's also this sense of control where i feel like this person wants to control um the, this king or this queen regardless of whatever situation you're in they want to control this person wants to get, regain control of the situation and they're it's like a pit bull they're not going to let this go until they regain control of everything that's going on here whether they're just associated with this king and it's affecting this queen by stressing them the hell out or this is a former lover of the queen of cups or a former friend what have you that wants control of this person again okay besides i feel really strongly it's about your association with them as a king of wands to the king of pentacles so again decide for you what situation it is for you overall energy for the five of wands we got five of pentacles in reverse this is gimme 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 <laughs> give it to me now right now it's yeah this is very combative sag i really don't like it and it's this energy is coming from this king without a doubt this energy is coming from that king of pentacles the antagonist the antagonist possessive money focused money driven yeah i really don't like it i really don't like it whatsoever um it's really affecting your queen of cups for those in that scenario and like i said for others this is you just being very firm with yourself of like i i, I have to sit down here and deal with my own shit 
I can't do anything else until I do because some of you are so taken aback that are realizing that you haven't dealt with this kryptonite in the way that you thought you had previously. For those where this is just about your own wounding and getting away from a very possessive person, okay? And like I said, for others, this is an associate of yours who likes to enable you, who likes to control you through money or just, you know, feeding you kryptonite and you're putting your foot down, but it's really affecting your queen, really affecting your queen, whoever your queen is, okay? Keep in mind, guys, gender does not matter here. Others, like I said, for very few of you, this is a, an associate of the Queen of Cups. And it's like you're protecting your queen from this very, very possessive person. And your queen's very just like distraught about it. Okay. All right. Let's move to judgment. Let's move to judgment. And then we'll get some advice here. I know it's a lot going on here, Sag. It's a lot going on here. Uh, for those, again, where you're just on that solo journey of you figuring out your own shit, I really feel like you're not going to deal with this person ever again. I really feel like that. But let's look at judgment. I'm gonna use steampunk to clarify. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Wow, Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Yeah, you're putting this shit behind you. You, you're taking care of your kryptonite one way or another. Whether you got to sit on a rock and just sit there for days till you deal with it and then it's just buried in the ground and then Spirit's like, yes, congratulations, Zaz, for doing that. Um, or you're finally getting rid of this person, protecting your queen or protecting your inner wounded feminine, whichever one it applies to you. You're putting this behind you once and for all. You're not, you're not going to let any kind of kryptonite affect you ever again. At least that particular kryptonite. <laughs> Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment for Sagittarius. Tell me about judgment. Oh, Queen of Cups. Who is this Queen of Cups, Sag? Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Hmm. Their, their, their energy is associated with this Ten of Swords in reverse. And like I said, Sag, for a lot of you where you're just dealing with your own wounding, you're healing your, your inner feminine. And that's successful. Hands down, that's successful. You're putting that bullshit behind you and you're standing strong in your feminine side, making sure your feminine side is just as strong as your masculine and find that perfect balance, which spirit is very happy about, okay? That's for those just dealing with their own stuff. For those where there's three people involved here, you standing up for this queen... It was the right thing. Even if it meant losing a friend, a colleague, a coworker, a family member, it was the right thing. Your queen feels safe. Whether this queen is just a friend of yours or a lover or a family member, I feel like for some of you it's a lover and, the, and again, there's an old lover here who's trying to regain control, but you definitely protected your feminine side by working on it for those who are doing self-growth and just self, -work, self uh, inner work. <laughs> but for those who are actually protecting a queen of cups, from a person who liked to enable you or from a former lover lover of theirs. It was the right thing. I'm getting safety. They feel safe. They feel very safe. All right. Tell me about judgment. Tell me more about judgment for Sagittarius regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Tell me more about judgment. Oop. All right. Let's see what we got here. Wow. Three of Swords in reverse, Libra energy, Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy, and then the Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Like I said, you're taking care of business. For those doing that self-growth, you're healing. You gain the clarity. You might not have had it initially, but you gain the clarity because you made yourself sit down on a rock to gain the clarity you needed to deal with your wounding. And then you get to move on to the Ten of Cups, move on to happy, happy, happy time. Okay? In this, <laughs> in this energy of these three people, that is now over. There's now two who can now walk off into calm, happiness, happy times, okay? Overall energy, 
Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy, no longer feeling down about this, no longer feeling sad about recognizing that shit, I didn't deal with this kryptonite the way I should have, or shit, this person's coming after my queen, or shit, this person's affecting me and now it's affecting my queen. Again, whoever the queen is to you, gender does not matter here, but no longer being in that place of doubt, insecurity, being unsure, whatever, or being upset about your own vices or your own what weaknesses. Again, I don't like that word, but that is what I'm getting here. Doing the right thing. It's all gonna work out, Sag. It's all gonna work out in the way it needs to. Okay, and this person, whoever they are, and again, I'm getting money hungry first and foremost, they're getting cut out. They're getting cut out. But I feel like for most of you, it's someone that you're associated with as a King of Wands. For very few of you, it's a former lover of this Queen of Cups or former associate, I'll say, former associate. Let's pull some advice. I know, Sad, you're gonna have to watch this a couple times. I got a lot of messages for you. But I love, I love, I love this for those that are working on their inner wounded feminine. This is beautiful energy for that. Beautiful. It's like, it's being really serious about it too. Being really serious and not fucking around. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? One more. Thank you. Okay. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Oh! Whale spirit, trust the great mystery. Oh goodness, 65 breaking down to an 11. This is a very, very divine animal, spirit animal. It's also very Piscean to me, diving to like the deep, 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 dark, watery depths of yourself and being so connected to spirit that it's a, that you just take things as they come. That's the advice here, Sag, which is really interesting to me. Why is that the advice, spirit? <laughs> They're giving me the whole dialogue. I just want to clean it up for you guys hmm okay they're being very funny today they gave me a whole long dialogue I'm not gonna say it all because it's just too much but essentially trusting that everything happens the way it's supposed to right right even if it's a shit storm or even if it's just a calm little river <laughs> okay that's the summary of what they told me uh take things as they come this came up to deal with your own wounding for those where it's just about your inner wounded feminine. Others, this came up so that you can recognize the people you've been dealing with. And also remember that as much as you think you've grown, you can always grow more. Always. This is interesting. I, I must have a lot of like male saggies watching me or just a lot of feminine energies who want to know about a masculine saggy because I'm getting, I'm getting very masculine energy here of like, Wow, this is kind of intense for my men who are watching. That issues around issues around masculinity, issues around not feeling masculine, issues around not feeling like a man. Some of you are resolving that with this shit storm, and it does feel a little bit like a shit storm. It does feel a little bit like that because you're definitely like dealing with a person here who's very aggressive, very possessive. Also, getting very envious too. Very envious. Um, and for those where you're actually protecting someone, that's very masculine. That's very, very masculine. You're doing it successfully. Oh, they're bringing me to like that feeling of safety, like feeling safe. Yeah, for my masculine Sagis who you're protecting a feminine energy, you might not have thought you could do it, but there's something about the shitstorm where it just kind of springs you into action. It just makes you get up and be like, hold the fucking phone, you know, just full on like testosterone mode. And in the end, your queen feels safe. And that makes you feel pretty incredible. And it's like, it's helping you to soothe those issues around, those issues, excuse me, around not feeling masculine enough or what masculinity really is, right? Protection is kind of like the epitome of that, right? Not to say females can't protect men, you know, all that stuff. But when we're talking about masculinity, that's what masculinity really is, right? All of this happened for a reason to learn lessons, regardless of whoever you are in this situation, regardless if you're a man or a woman, regardless if you're working, working on your inner wounded feminine or working on addictions or just trying to be a healthier, happier person, okay? 
it's all happening for a reason and just just to trust that just to trust that sometimes it's a shit storm sometimes it's just a little you know small flowing creek okay or river whatever any other advice for my saggies any other advice for my saggies regarding this spread Any other advice for my Saggies? It, oh, <laughs> it's, it's more of the same, to be honest with you. White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic. 66, which is a master number. So you have progression here, 65 to the 66. These are essentially very similar energies. Trusting universe. Trusting universe, trusting spirit, trusting that things happen the way they're supposed to happen and that there is some sort of grand design and orchestration that sometimes is out of our control and that we're presented with opportunities that are all about helping us grow, all about helping us progress and to learn. Hold on a second. What if like these are two people? For some of you, these are two people. For some of you, these are representing people. Not for, I would say for very few of you actually, but it's, 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 it's hitting me. For very few of you, these are like two people, but it's almost like, one is very air-like and one's very watery, like headspace versus heart space. Very complimentary, very spiritual as well. You'll know if this is resonating with you. I feel like one has been hiding a little bit. One's been hiding, one's been watching. Thank you. One's been hiding, one's been watching. Waiting for the perfect time. That's only gonna be for a couple of you. For some of you, this shit storm. Like I said, it's all in divine timing. Everything happens the way it's supposed to. One's been doing some hiding while one has been watching. I feel like, I feel like it's more about the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups here. I feel like it's more about this, this duo. I almost want to say dynamic duo for those in that scenario. It's like this shitstorm is happening to cement something between the two of you. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, one of you has been kind of in hermit mode hiding. The other one's been like very much do, do out doing stuff, looking at stuff, and also keeping an eye on the other. But there's something about the shitstorm where it's call to action. Thank you. Okay, this is definitely for those where the queen is being protected by a king here. Feels like a very masculine energy on this king. Yeah, this is, okay, this is very, very specific. I'm getting a download. This is very, very specific. There's a, um, I want to say man. I want to say man. We'll say man and woman here. Um, the very intense connection here. One is all about the heart space. I feel like it's the female. Well, the, the masculine energy, the male that I'm sensing is all about the headspace, very air-like. They don't have to be an air sign, but they harness a lot of air energy. They're always thinking, always strategizing, very methodical. But there's something about these two people where it's almost like, you know, very different, right? Like one's been hiding in hermit mode, doing some of their own shit. The other one's been out and about doing stuff. But there's something with a shitstorm where I feel like the female is calling attention to the male, like, hey, I need help. Okay, that was for someone. Let's keep it going. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Okay. Now we've got, ooh, Grasshopper Spirit, take the leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. Sag, you have no reservations about this. This is like a full energy. You have no reservations about working on your own shit. You have no reservations about that whatsoever because you want to. You want to. It's almost like it, you can't stand the fact that you, it's something you have to deal with, but that's why you're like, I'm dealing with this shit right now. Very much so dealing with this shit. I'm also feeling that call to arms again with this energy. But yeah, diving right into the healing process. You're not afraid to do it. You're not afraid to do it. It's just more emphasis on, hey, get up and go do it, right? Overall energy, ooh, crow spirit, co-create with spirit, 17 breaking down to an eight. Like I said, everything happens the way it's supposed to. You're supposed to wake up to this kryptonite moment for your own success, okay? For your own success. Look at all the divine cards you have here. Three out of four of them are very, very divine cards. All three of these, this one, this one, and this one, could be indicative of spirit guides trying to help you, give you that push to be like, hey, you got to deal with this vice, you got to deal with this person, you got to deal with this kryptonite, or hey, call to arms, you got to go and protect this person and it's cementing something between the two of you. Either way, it's all about working with spirit to get you to where you need to be. They're pushing you, Sag. They're pushing you and it's for your betterment and you know it and you have no reservations about accepting that challenge, okay? So it just was intense. Like I said, a lot of messages for a lot of different people. Decide on what messages are for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Sag. Namaste.